Italy is a country synonymous with style, tailored in tradition and flavoured by food. Sport runs through the veins here with football and motor racing the fan favourites. But each year the European tour visits and this month's Open d'Italia, staged just outside Milan, showcased the final appearance of the country's most celebrated golfer, Costantino Rocca. I decided to don't play anymore the Italian Open. Not only for me, but uh, even for don't pick it up another place for the young uh, player. And uh, here is a nice golf course. It's no long golf course, and you have to work a little bit the ball. And uh, I think if I play good and uh, stay concentrated on, uh, I can do, I can make the cut. This is a goal. <laughs> Well, the five-time European Tour winner didn't make the cuts, but there were emotional scenes as he holed out on Friday. Now 58, he'll be remembered for a near miss at the Open, for winning the BMW PGA Championship, and for three Ryder Cup appearances. Well, you know, even the first first time I play is a good experience. I watch a lot of, I don't play much, but uh, you lose. We lose at that time in '93. And it's a good experience for me for uh, when I make it the other to hear the team, I give 200% of myself and not uh, 90. Because if I give 90, I'm not good for the team. <laughs> and after you have the, the other team, but uh, it's one of the most uh, fantastic experiences of my life, play Ryder Cup. Rocker's finest moment in the Ryder Cup came in 1997, when he beat Tiger Woods in the singles at Valderrama, six months after playing with Tiger in the final round of the Masters, which Woods won. But that year in the Masters is unbelievable. He hit the ball fantastic, and when he makes noise, when he hit the ball, I say, this guy can be the number one for 10, 15 years. <laughs> because if he starts to control his game, his power, you give the first prize, no, not the second, the first prize, because he hit the ball fantastic, short, uh, good short game, the attitude on the course, I like it, he becoming angry, he's, uh, he's enjoyed, and uh, okay, I play Ryder Cup, uh, for me, is the big moment, because uh, I say, okay, four days you can beat me, one day I can beat you, <laughs> especially if I play my game, because if I watch his game, I lost after 9-0. Scout. They played together in the final round of the Masters this year where Tiger Woods was victorious, but this time it's the man from Italy. You know, I, I hit the ball well this week. I just couldn't quite get the, the putter roll. You know, I couldn't build any momentum that way. I couldn't weigh any holes. And uh, consequently, you know, I'm going to have a disappointing record. The moment I beat Tiger in 97, the other player is a little bit down and maybe I give uh, more uh, um, power to reaction and uh, and uh, try to give more. And I think that is the moment you can win or can lose the right again. Italy's top current player, Francesco Molinari, faced Tiger at the 2012 Ryder Cup, gaining a half point in the singles to seal an incredible European win on US soil. Costantino Rocca was, uh, was my, my main uh, model and you know my, my hero, if you want to put it that way. Uh, obviously, there weren't many golfers in Italy, especially at the time, and uh, to see someone doing so well in, in Europe and in the States, uh, it was great to see for me and for, I'm sure, everyone of my generation in Italy. And uh, I was lucky enough to, to, when I turned pro, he was still on tour for a couple of years, so I played a few practice rounds with him, and, uh, you know, he's a, he's a lovely guy, so he's, uh, he's definitely my model. The Italian Open was held in Monza this year, a venue usually associated with motor racing, but Rocca has done much to improve golf's popularity here, and it'll receive another boost if Italy wins its bid to stage the 2022 Ryder Cup. For Italy, it's a, it's a honour and a pleasure to have, a, if you can, have the Ryder Cup. Rome, I think, is the big town, the old town, and they have a lot of uh, thing to, to see, to watch, and uh, compared to Berlin, uh, you cannot say Berlin is not good or Vienna is not good. But uh, I think we have a good chance. 
Italy has a long pedigree of hosting big sports events, and the feeling amongst the top players on the European tour is that the golfing tracks on offer here certainly match the standards required. Very nice here, always very nice. Golf courses are lovely out here. It's one of the countries we come to where, you know, it mightn't be known as a golfing nation, but their golf courses are actually fantastic. Uh, so always a joy to play them. I cannot go to play soccer in San Siro, <laughs> but I can do in every other court. And uh, I think we have to, to, to give a chance to the people understand what you mean play golf. It's not only for the rich people. I think uh, we need a more uh, uh, public structure, tourist structure, and uh, we need to, like uh, this uh, golf club, Monza, to become an uh, elite. If you believe in something, you, you want to uh, give a chance to golf uh, to becoming a sport uh, more popular in Italy, you have to do it. Even though he won't be teeing it up at the Italian Open again, Costantino plans to continue with his efforts to grow the game of golf in his home country. If Italy does host the 2022 Ryder Cup, be under no doubt the man from Bergamo will have played a very big part.